Unraveling Legal Terms, Abuse of Discretion versus Legal Error Today's cup of legal wisdom brews on an intriguing topic, abuse of discretion and legal error. Two very distinct, often confused beasts in the legal jungle. Never heard of them or unsure what they mean. Maybe heard them being thrown around in legal dramas or in the midst of those exciting courtroom battle scenes? Well, it's time to dive in and get our hands dirty. Dissecting, Abuse of Discretion Let's start with, Abuse of Discretion. It's certainly not about ill-treating, discernment or judgment. Instead, it's a phrase we use in legal scenarios when a judge might have exercised poor judgment or made a decision without following legal standards and, thus, negatively impacting a party's rights. Can't quite picture it? Here's an example. Let's say a judge decides to exclude essential evidence on the grounds of being irrelevant without sufficient reasoning, causing potential harm to your case. Well, you might say that's an abuse of discretion, because, as a judge, they've not quite exercised their powers properly. Understanding legal error. Next, we have legal error. This term refers to a mistake made by a court or a judge regarding a matter of law involved in the decision-making process. Consider a situation where a judge misinterprets a statutory provision or maybe overlooks a binding precedent during a trial. That's what we call a legal error. Simply put, it's when the court gets the law wrong. Both abuse of discretion and legal error could potentially affect the outcome of a case. But they are far from being the same thing. An abuse of discretion typically occurs when a judge makes a decision that's not justified or unreasonable based on the facts of the case, possibly leading to an unjust outcome. Meanwhile, a legal error happens when there's a misunderstanding or misapplication of the law itself. It's not about the choice made under the law, but rather a faulty understanding of what the law means or how it applies to the case at hand. Clearly, knowing the difference matters when you're drafting appeals or trying to overturn a decision that didn't go your way. Relevant on both sides of the bench. Why does this matter? Well, if you're in the legal profession or aspiring to be, understanding these terms helps you better navigate cases, especially dealing with appeals. Whether you're sitting on the side of the prosecution or defense, or even behind that imposing bench, these terms are part and parcel of the legal landscape. And if you're just a keen legal beagle, well, understanding these terms gives you another feather in your cap, as you dissect those legal dramas. So, there you have it, folks, a crash course in understanding, abuse of discretion, and legal error. Next time you find yourself in the middle of a legal discussion or just binge watching your favorite courtroom drama, Remember these terms, and put your newfound knowledge to use. After all, be you a seasoned law professional, an aspiring law student, or an impassioned law enthusiast, it's always a point in your favor to comprehend the nitty-gritty intricacies of our fascinating legal world. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below.